Hello, you awesome people, and welcome back. Um, we are at Starshine Ranch, and I realize I haven't actually been here at all before. And I logged in to do the new quest uh, with Lisa and all, but I then remembered I haven't been here at all. <laughs> oh my goodness! So we are going to do that first. Let's go and talk to Josh. Hi, Josh. Hey there, how nice of you to swing by. I'm Josh, and this here beauty is Pearl Heart. Okay. We'd like to wish you a warm welcome to Starshine Ranch. Sounds familiar. Right, you are. This place was named after Lisa Peterson's horse, Starshine. Her pa opened this ranch to bring the western spirit to Jorik. Mm, so what brings you here? To tell you the truth, I've been hankering for a home for a long time. The mountains, forest, and the western lifestyle of Wyoming. But I didn't want to leave Yorick and all my buddies. This is what drew me to this place. The best of both worlds. Mr. Peterson ha heard my dream about having a proper venue for real western competitions and together we made it a reality. Here you can try out western riding, events like pole bending, barrel racing, and the like. This place will be constantly growing, so pop in from time to time and you may find something new has arrived. Oh, and if you stick around, you might catch the sounds of some sweet country melodies. Which reminds me... I didn't put on any music. And uh, there we go, it's our music. And also I forgot to do this, very important. There we go. As always. See you around, Rose. Okay. Uh, howdy, Rose. I hope you're enjoying your time at Starshine Rants. <laughs> well, I didn't really move. <laughs> you caught me at the perfect time. I just finished my chores for the day. Okay. It takes a lot to keep this place going. Grooming and feeding horses, preparing the arenas for competitions. Don't even get me started on those mischievous donkeys. Hard work never ends here, I tell you. But it's well worth the trouble. It warms my heart to see you just how much everyone's enjoying Western life here on Jorik and to have a place to call home. That's more precious than gold. How are you enjoying the ranch, partner? I love it! Although I haven't been having it for that much. <laughs> Excellent, you're truly feeling the spirit of the West, aren't you? I see you around here all the time, getting stuck in with the uh, activities. You're a bona fide bookero. What is that? <laughs> Say, are you to any are you up to anything right now? Me and Pearlhard were about to head out on a trail ride around the valley. It'd be might be mighty fine to have some company. Oh really? It's a nice day to hit the trails. There are some moody looking clouds on the distance though, so let's help they don't come our way. Okay. So I guess we're going on a little trail ride with him and he... Um, well, he's such a good rider, he doesn't even have to hold the reins. <laughs> and apparently I'm not that good. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, we're trotting. Oh, this is a mm, cozy. Oh, dude. Although you're a tiny bit faster than me. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't mean to run you anyone over. Oh, boy. Disaster. Pearl and I uh, are usually training this time of day. Being the arena is a thrill, kicking up the dust as everyone cheers you on. I want everyone to experience that, which is why I host all kinds of Western activities. Nice. For once I could read it without stress. Ah, <sighs> She's so pretty, that horse. I mean, look at her. So cute. <laughs> okay. Na, 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 na. I used to live for competitive riding, bell racing, pole bending, you name it. But moving to Stars and Run taught me to slow down. Oh. Falling behind, I'm in front of you. <laughs> Sometimes. Nowadays, I find spending time with the horse is just as. Okay. Sorry. I hear a spider. I know you're in there, but I'm busy. 
<laughs> Why are we going this way? Isn't this like a dead end up here? Where are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't want to ride into... Back in Wyoming, I spent so much time on the road between events or chasing cattleman jobs with my paw. It was only when I went to visit my up in Ma up in Canada that I had time to slow down and appreciate the majesty of nature. Sounds corny, I know. And, okay. Never mind, it was probably a good story. <laughs> Do 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 do. Ah! I got stuck. By the way, I love this hat. This is a new hat, you can find it in Global Thor. This looks like a swell spot to rest. Let's take a break from the trails and give the horses a, bra a breather. That's what it's called, a breather. Breather. I don't know. Do 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 do. I was like, has it always been here? But yeah, it has, I realize. <laughs> I thought we were taking a break. Where are we taking a break? Apparently not. Are you? Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, the campsite. Are we going here? Are we? Please tell me we are. Please tell me we are. It's so cozy. Yay, we are. Being here between the first trees reminds me the first time I met my dear Pearl Heart. Mr. Moalang got word of a quarter horse in Dundle, destined to be a ranger horse, but too shy and laid back to take it on. I'd spent plenty of time with quad horses back in Wyoming, so I thought I'd try to help. I tracked her down to where she hid in the forest, and as soon as I placed a hand on her withers, I felt that instant connections your regions talk about. <laughs> we became partners in no time, and it was like I found a part of myself that had been, mi had been missing. I like to think it was the spirit of the West calling me home. My ambition to bring the West to Fjordrik all started with Pearl Heart. <laughs> Sometimes I miss it, you know. Wyoming in Canada, too. I miss my family. Mr. Peterson's uh, been awful kind to take me on in, but I don't want to impose. He has his own family to look out for. For now, I'm perfectly content with being a cowpoke. <laughs> cowpoke! <laughs> this seems like a good spot to rest. I usually come here on my trail rides. Darn it, just what I hoped wouldn't happen. Those storm clouds have managed to catch up to us. Give them a minute more and they'll drench us. Oh no! Oh, we have to we have to race. Okay, we're having to go back. Oh no, it's raining! Ooh. We. Oh. Why are we running this way? This is away from the ranch. <laughs> but okay. Oh. Hold up, something's wrong. I think Pearl slipped. She's usually great at sliding stuff, but it's quite dangerous when the ground gets muddy. I think she got a little hurt. Poor girl's limping. I'll call Carl and see if he can come and fetch us. Oh no, girl! Uh, that was fast. Hey there. Now that we've gotten yourself into... We were racing back to the ranch, trying not to get caught in the rain. Pearl Heart slipped and lost a shoe. 
Racing? In this weather? You know better than that, Josh. A look at that state of you. You're soaked from head to toe. Well, hop in then. You too. You can't have you and your horse doing the same. Oh. Damn, he's driving fast. Wang! <laughs> and we're back. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Peterson. It's nothing, son. At what have I told you before? Call me cold. You two best get your horses in their stalls and head indoors yourself before the cold seeps in your bones. Oh. That was quite the adventure you two had there. But Pearl seems fine. Oh my god, a thunder. <laughs> Let's meet inside. Okay. Alright, oh that's Mary. <coughs> <coughs> Now it is fine. Oh, oh, we get to go inside. Are you kidding? No. Okay. Never mind. What the? How do I get inside? Oh, maybe this is. Oh, this is the door. <laughs> okay. I've just been admiring this room. I set it up for my Isa. She's be she'll be coming home soon, I'm sure. She's been away for a while now. A busy lady she is. It's a looking great, mister. I mean Carl, I'm sure Lisa will Lisa feel right at home. <laughs> what do you think? Wait a minute. I guess we haven't quite properly met yet, have we? I'm Carl Peterson, Lisa's dad and owner of Starshine Ranch. If you did ask me before the ranch was built, I was dead set on leaving this darn island of the be everything I'd put me and my Lisa through. But Lisa was far too happy on Jory for me to tear it away from her, so I sucked it up and decided to make most of the situation. To give my family the home we so very needed. That's how Le Starshine Ranch came to be, with a lot of help from Josh, of course. So what do you think about what I've done with Lisa's room? You think she'll like it? Well, yeah, when she gets her hand on it, it will probably be beautiful. She'll probably like it. <laughs> That's good enough, I guess. She's got a crazy place to rest her head and... Uh, cozy, not a crazy... <laughs> <laughs> she got a cozy place to rest her head and lots of space for her things. That's all that matters in my books. <laughs> Do you know when Lisa uh, coming back? Have you heard anything from her? She'll be back any day now, I bet. I know my Isa be better than anyone. She's a free butterfly. I'm sure she'll have ta tall tales of her escapes when she comes home. Soon. Very, very soon, I hope. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I best you get back to it. Feel free to poke around a little more, but don't go opening any boxes. Okay. Oh, and we will have to wait a day uh, before we can continue. Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you this. Basically, these are two parts. The first part, as we did now... Where is Horsey? Oh, there. The first part we did now is for the people who have just started... <laughs> I hate thunder. <laughs> who has just started playing Star Stable and uh, basically in the beginning and haven't met Lisa yet. So this is for that. And the second part that we are going to be doing tomorrow, because some of you might not get this part tomorrow, and that the reason is because you will have to have... Uh, well, if you watch my series, you already know. You will have to have saved Lisa before you get the second part. So if you are starting Star Stable right now, you are not getting the part that we are going to look at in the next episode. Um, uh, but if you have saved Lisa, you are getting that part right away. So, yes, this was the beginning, and uh, yeah, so I guess that in the next episode we are going to see what happens next time. Un but yeah, until then, people, stay awesome as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!